Hey there everyone, it's Mr. Stubstep and today I have an amazing TCG player video for you and it's gonna be quite fire, but before I get into this, I do have a bunch of pickups that I wanna show to you guys. But like always, I'll have chapters down below, so if you wanna skip right to just the good stuff, there's actually gonna be some good stuff along the way, but you know, I have chapters down below if you just wanna skip to that part. So we will start out with some singles that I got, I think in the mail, um, not from anywhere specific, but these are all Supreme Victors cards. So if they're any worth over a dollar, I'll be sure to put it down below as well as the conditioning. But I think majority of these were slightly under a dollar, but we'll go through these really quick. So very excited to add a lot to my Supreme Victors collection because it is surprisingly a big set. Not too difficult. I do have the most expensive card from the set, the Charizard Level X, or I think it's like Charizard G Level X or something like that. Um, but all the other stuff in between, there's a few shinies, there's other Level X cards. And then the hollows are surprisingly very expensive, which is kind of cool to see. And that Night Teleporter, and probably the most expensive card from that little portion right there is this Versus Seeker. I'm not even sure it was used at all during the Sword and Shield era. I'm not sure if it'll get reprinted within Scarlet and Violet. But this is a really good item card. Well, I guess this is a, it says just trainer. But show your discard pile, or search your discard pile for support card. Show it to your opponent and put it into your hand. Imagine how much freedom that would give you. Just supporter cards that you've already used, but then you can put it right back into your hand. And there's a lot of good supporters that, you know, if you can use more Versus Seekers instead of putting more of them into your deck, like that just allows for a lot of flexibility. And then I recently got some cards from Japan that I'm super excited to have added to my collection. We'll start out with some bulk that kind of protected it on both ends. Um, it looks like that Sword and Shield 5R. Not sure which one that's referring, but it is the most recent Curlia cards from Scarlet EX. So if that curly artwork was just as amazing. I mean, I don't think there's any other curly artwork that that's close. Almost doing the splits, definitely midair and a jump, but then it's kind of like a fairy type woods with a spooky kind of background. Just love everything about that. And you can see that set symbol in the, well, not symbol, but the set numbering and then the letter G. So that's very nice. And it's just a common card. And we do have the Curlia story card. So you have the Curlia, you know, it looks like they just had a kid, and this is just such a nice artwork. You can also see the Curly in the background right there, the family photo. And because there is a Curly a cameo in the Gardevoir EX, I do need that one as well. And I figured I might as well just get the Ralts. Even though there is no Curly within the Ralts artwork, I feel like it just makes sense to get the entire thing. And I, I remember seeing Squeak's Game World. He recently had some listings on eBay that included... Uh, a bunch of those graded through CGC, which were kind of enticing. The Perfect 10s were like 250 bucks, which, I mean, I get it, they're Perfect 10s, but I feel like that's still a little overpriced. The the regular Pristine 10s were a little bit more within my price range, but uh, I'm probably just going to wait on some PSA 10s of those if I get them at all. And then we do have some more singles that I picked up today, actually, at the time of filming this video. We have a couple from Rebel Clash, just this Applin, and this Training Court. This is a stadium card. It's surprisingly expensive. I think it's like going for two bucks right now, and that's just the non hollow version, which is crazy. And then we get into so the, uh, the hollow rares and reverse rares of Supreme Victors, which these are actually kind of pricey. Let me know down below. I'll show down below what I paid, and then you'll know the price per card. And then all of these are pretty much worth over a dollar, except for if they had no pricing, then I won't put anything down below, or if it's less than a dollar, I won't include it. But this deal might not have been as good as the previous ones that I got, but with the hollows, he actually had to look all the individual cards up and couldn't just do like a certain rate. We'll start with that Absol G, or Team Galactic's Absol. We got that Garchomp, which is a beauty by Arita. Just the reverse. We had the Magmortar. This is a really nice artwork. Love the Cosmos hollow foil. Very jealous that this era had those. And then that Clean Reverse. Some of these were actually in pretty good condition. We got the Metagross. I did have to not get some of the deck exclusives and then the, the Crystal Shattered foil ones because they were a lot more expensive. Like my original total was over $100 and then I took a bunch of the deck exclusive off and then that reduced the price. This was probably the most expensive one. I think he might've charged me for a slightly better conditioning. I think this is moderately played at best, but it is a beautiful artwork for Rayquaza C or the Champions Pokemon. That is just, wow. I think that's one of the best Rayquaza Hollow cards of all time. And I even got it in reverse too, which is not bad. And we have the Rhyperior looking superior. Not superior, superior. And then another right here, but in reverse, so cleaning that up. This is actually a deck exclusive. I should have not bought this card just to save a little bit of money, but I ended up getting it anyway. There's Swampert, that's cool, because this technically doesn't count towards the Masters that I'm building. It's just an extra card that I put at the end. 
We do have the reverse Venusaur, which is very beautiful. And I know I think I ordered the regular holo rare from TCG Player, so looking forward to getting that. And then we have the Yan Mega, so much holo foil in that. It even goes over the wings. And then there's a, almost a Mega Swirl down at the bottom, which is really nice. And finally, the reverse of that Yan Mega. So really cool. Let me know what your favorite pickup out of those were. But I'm super excited to add them to the respective binders, and I'm excited to enhance my Curlia collection, which is super exciting. And now we're getting into the main event. We haven't even started yet. And I think this is the second to last one before I'm fully caught up on TCG Player videos that I ordered while I was away. And we're starting out extremely strong with a Charizard pre-release promo from Vivid Voltage. The last set that they did staff pre-release promos of before they did it, they started up again with Silver Tempest. And this is a beautiful Charizard card from Sorted Shield 66. We'll check out the back. This one was a little bit pricier. That's why I kind of took my time on it. But Vivid Voltage had such good pre-release promos. What was it? Snorlax? Was a Lugia also included? I And then Dawn Fan? Just such good pre-release promos. Like, my goodness, it's not fair. And then it looks like we have a few cards in here. Okay, this is exciting. We have the Jigglypuff from Neo Destiny, which this is a clean copy. A little bit of lipping at the top. Edgeware. Check out the back. Oh, okay, the back isn't the greatest, but maybe like moderately played or something. I'll, I'll definitely have down below, but that is a really nice artwork. So nice, adding more to Neo Destiny. And we do have another Sword and Shield promo in Blanche, which Blanche is looking good in this. I was team Mystic? Shoot, I, I'm i so bad. I, I'm the yellow team, but yeah. This is not a bad looking promo. Very excited. I didn't get all three separate ones, so I figured I would get these promos individually just to save a little money. And we got the Candela. Very good artwork as well. Sometimes the back poses aren't that good, but this one, it just works. You know, a little stylish, a little bit of attitude. Definitely appreciate it. Oh, Spark is the one that I have. That's the one that I'll probably open on the channel. We have another promo, or a set of promos, excuse me. I think I might have ordered these from TCA Gaming, to be honest, so I didn't have to get the full-on, so I didn't have to get the full-on box. We have the Zara Ora VMAX, which I've seen some people play some Zara Ora VMAX decks, to be honest. So I guess they're not that bad. We got the Zara Ora V-Star as well. Lightning Storm Star, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon four times. You can choose the same Pokemon more than one, or choose one of your opponent's Pokemon four times. For each time you choose a Pokemon, do 60 damage to it. So you can spread 240 damage. That is not bad. Towards the end of the game, you could clean up whatever, you know, smaller Pokemon to get those last couple prizes. That is not bad at all. And then the Zera or a V, which is very nice. Probably my least favorite artwork out of the three, because it looks like it's just powering up. And then we even, oh, it looks like we have the Deoxys trio as well. So yeah, I think I did get these from TCA Gaming because I didn't want to get the the V, V Max decks, or the, it's like the V Star, V Max decks of these. I just didn't think it was worth it. I guess we'll finally add something to the Jigglypuff side since my other one's getting overwhelmed. The Deoxys V Star, that is beautiful. So for one Psychic Energy, this attack does 60 damage for each at energy attached to both active Pokemon. Hmm. I mean, 60 is a huge multiplier, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen any Deoxys V-Star decks, that's for sure. But you know what, maybe, maybe there's potential. And then the Deoxys V-Max, got Protective DNA, all of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from attacks. Oh, from your opponent's V-Star Pokemon. And then Max Drain, with that little bit of heal. Oh, we even have some Pokemon Go promos. Dang, this is actually going to turn out to be a long one. That is beautiful. I forget, I think these might have came in the pin collections, so I did not get the pin collections to open. That is such a precious artwork of Charmander. Yeah, this will definitely fill out my promo binder, which is very exciting because I love filling that out. And then, of course, we have the Squirtle, naturally, in that order. Very nice Squirtle. Not the best Squirtle artwork. I do prefer the Charmander. I'm excited to see what the Bulbasaur looks like. There's the Bulbasaur. Okay. I actually like the Bulbasaur. Using the Vine Whip to hold the gift. Very precious. Look at little Bulba. <laughs> That's very cute. Nice hollow foil pattern there. Subtle, but beautiful. That might be one of my favorite Bulbasaur cards. My goodness. And then, oh, wow. There's another little section of packs in here as well. We have the Pikachu. This is from that uh, advent calendar, I believe. And I wanted to get the full thing and do like a little thing, but obviously it just didn't work out and I was away. But this one actually turned out to be pretty expensive. All the cards that came within that set have this little 
you know, Snowflake stamp, Pokemon Snowflake stamp, but this is the only one that was like a unique artwork, and it was given its own promo number, so I had to add it, because I'm trying to collect all the Sword and Shield promos. And then, let's, oh, we still have a couple more cards left, and we have the training cards. Speaking of expensive stadium cards, here's the gold version of that. This is where you start out in Sword and Shield, where you face Hop for the first time outside of his house. Also where the champion lives, too. Very nice card. I wonder if when I bought this versus how much it's worth now, I bet you I might have made a little, you know, there's probably a price increase. And then even the Secret Rare Fire Energy from Fusion Strike. My goodness. Yeah, we're really filling out the Fusion Strike binder. That is a beautiful Secret Rare Energy. Let me know what your favorite Secret Energies, Secret Rare Energies of all time are. I don't know if this beats out the Burning Shadows one, but it is pretty beautiful. But wow, that is, that was quite the opening should. A lot of cards, probably will have to edit a lot of prices in there, but definitely worth it and super excited to add these all to my binders. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought. Let me know what your favorite card was. Let me know what you guys are currently collecting. And once again, I just want to thank y'all so much for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one.